Today we're going to be taking a look at our list on the top 20 most addicting iPhone games of all time. We've compiled an amazing list of 20 great iPhone games that have the capacity to make you exclaim, just one more level or one more minute. We'll be showing you these applications in alphabetical order, but remember, the list doesn't stop here. Let us know in the comments section below what your favorite addicting iPhone games are. We look forward to reading them. Alright, let's get started on the top 20 most addicting iPhone games of all time. The first game that we have is relatively new, but has the power to glue you to your seat, eyes fixed on dropping little balls into cups. Of course, I'm talking about the new app sensation that is 100 Balls. A game that starts off deceptively easy, turns into a challenging test of concentration and reflexes. You score points when you drop the balls into the cups, which are then recycled back into the system. Different colored cups turn your balls into that color, granting you additional points. 100 Balls is definitely a very addictive game, but be warned, once you pick it up, you might not be able to put it back down. The next game that we have is the very successful tile-based game, 2048. Taking the App Store by storm, 2048 tore through the charts with its very addictive gameplay and simple objective, to add like tiles together until they create the coveted 2048 tile. The game actually takes a lot of strategy, and there are multiple iterations out there as well, including 2048 Plus, which adds objectives to the gameplay. I would also recommend trying out the even more challenging precursor to 2048 Threes, which is available for purchase on the App Store as well. Who can forget one of the first viral addicting games to hit the App Store? Angry Birds. A game based off of the castle catapulting genre, Angry Birds' lighthearted graphics and fun gameplay mechanics took not only the App Store, but the world by storm, and soon became the poster child for successful iOS development ventures. The many iterations of Angry Birds since then have included a movie tie-in, seasonal levels, a racing game, and more. Its overall success and addicting nature has definitely earned Angry Birds a spot on this list. Before Flappy Bird and others scream at your phone addicting games, there was Backflip Madness. A game that requires you to tap just one button in order to perform challenging backflips in a variety of different locations. The difficulty of the game comes from the fact that you must perform each stunt perfectly or lose a life. Three strikes and you start again from scratch. This game can have you yelling at it in minutes but still maintains a very strong sense of reward after pulling off that perfect stunt. Bloons Tower Defense 5 has become a staple of lighthearted tower defense games on the App Store. Featuring fun graphics and challenging levels complete with crazy achievements, Bloons Tower Defense 5 really has the power to make you play for hours before looking up and wondering where all the time has gone. The countless upgrades, missions, and content all come together to create a game that can entertain you for hours. But be careful, it's really easy to get addicted. One of the pioneers of free-to-play addicting games was Candy Crush. Essentially a candy reskin version of Bejeweled, complete with countless levels, power-ups, and social interaction. Candy Crush really packs a punch that has incited many a sweet tooth addiction towards the app. Whether you're a fan of the free-to-play microtransaction games or not, there's no denying that Candy Crush is a very addictive and well thought out match three game. The next game that we have is Clash of Clans, an insanely addictive game that puts you and your friends into clans, all competing against various opponents, upgrading defenses, and collecting resources. Recently, they made true to their name and launched Clan Wars, which now allows clans to go head to head in epic battles. Overall, a very addictive game that has the power to consume your social life, so be warned. What is a better activity than baking and eating cookies? Clicking cookies, of course, and the ultimate time waster, Cookie Clicker. This game has the power to mesmerize your imagination in exciting ways such as clicking a cookie, clicking a cookie faster, and hiring grandmas to make you more cookies. 
Now you might be asking yourself, what's the point of making all of these cookies? To buy more cookies, of course. Overall, a very fun and <laughs> kind of weird time waster that has the potential to form an addiction stronger than eating cookies themselves. If cookies aren't your style and you're more of a money kind of guy, check out Make It Rain, which is essentially cookie clicker reskinned with straight up cash. Few of these games so far have the ability to form an addiction the whole family can enjoy, or be a slave to depending on your perspective. Cut the Rope is one of these games. Cut the Rope puts you in many cool environments that have you cutting ropes in order to get the candy to the lovable creature Om Nom. The genius part of the game comes from the fact that the game is simple enough for kids to beat each level, yet challenging enough for adults to strive for three stars every time. Break this app out on family game night and your family just might become addicted. The next game is the only game that I've seen where the title serves the dual purpose of instructions on how to play the game. Of course, I'm referring to Don't Touch the White Tile, where you strive to not touch the white tile, as the name would suggest. This may seem very easy at first, however, it becomes increasingly difficult as you strive to be as fast as you can while still obeying the game's one rule to avoid the white tiles. Overall, a fun game that has the potential to get you very addicted. Alright, we're going to take a quick break to thank our sponsors. We'll be right back with 10 more addicting games right after the break. This video is brought to you by AppNana, the cool app that lets you get paid apps, iTunes gift cards, and more absolutely free. Go to AppNana.com slash AppFind in your mobile browser to get started. Now what you're going to do is just log in and create an account. From there, you'll receive 10,000 Nanas for using our unique URL. You can use points to get all of these cool apps, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, PayPal cash, uh, and a lot more. There's a lot of great rewards all available on AppNana. Now the way to get more points is just to download regular apps that are absolutely free. Once you download the apps like Hotels.com, you'll be rewarded with free points. We just got 3,900 points just for downloading uh, Hotels.com. For even more points, use my referral code A445859. Use that exact exact referral code to get you 2,500 more Nanas. You can use Nanas for all of these amazing apps, so what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Also click here to watch the full App Nana tutorial. Who can forget the addicting classic iOS game, Doodle Jump? A game that combines endless jumping, a cute doodle style character, and evil doodle monsters. Overall, a fun jumping game that has the power to make you play again, and again, and again, in order to climb those leaderboards and get the high score. Overall, a fun game with a lot of different doodle worlds to explore as well. Here it is, the holy grail of addicting games, pulled from the app store due to its pure addicting nature. It is the one, the only, Flappy Bird. The game that spawned hundreds of knockoffs and is renowned for its sheer addictive nature. The game's one-touch controls has you navigating through different pipes in search of high scores. The unforgiving nature of the game makes concentration a must and leads to flappy addictions that even the creator wasn't prepared for. If you didn't get the chance to download Flappy Bird before it was removed, don't fear. According to reports, it should be back sometime this summer. But until then, I've compiled a short list of alternatives to try in the description, such as the popular knockoff, Splashy Fish. A very fun level-based game that causes you to exclaim, just one more level, is Flow Free. A game that starts off with a very simple concept of connecting different colored dots soon becomes a challenging puzzle game that requires you to think hard about where each line should go. The game has the ability to become a very addicting game, so be warned. The game that turned everyone into a fruit slashing, combo seeking ninja definitely earned its spot on this list. Of course I'm talking about the very popular Fruit Ninja, an addicting game that has you slashing fruit in order to rack up those high scores. But beware, you don't want to go too fast or risk hitting the bombs that could end your game. Geometry Dash is another addicting game that is very unforgiving. The game pits you against long and challenging courses where the objective is to guide your box along without falling prey to the various traps and obstacles that come your way. The only catch is you need to complete each level in one perfect run. There are no checkpoints or lives, just raw skill and reflexes required. The game has the power to get you addicted before you even beat the first level. 
All right, we are going to be right back after a very short break to tell you guys a little bit more about the series that we have here on App Find, App Spotlight. If you love iPhone games but are tired of sifting through the App Store by yourself to find the best games, App Find has you covered with our weekly series, App Spotlight. App Spotlight is a show that airs every weekend where we shine the spotlight on five amazing applications every week. Every episode includes two new apps that just came out and have a lot of potential. That way you can stay on top of the latest iOS games. We then show off a cool blast from the past in each episode's flashback game that features cool apps from the past that are still fun to play. After that, we show off a cool indie game that you might not have otherwise found in our Hidden Gem app segment. We round off each episode with a really cool mystery app that is fun to play but you might not have heard of before. You should definitely check out a few episodes of App Spotlight. They're released every weekend only on App Find, so be sure to subscribe so you can catch every episode. Flying into our list is Jetpack Joyride, the fun side-scrolling jetpack game that includes dozens of missions, countless power-ups and upgrades, and an excellent physics engine as well. Jetpack Joyride packs a real punch with all the countless missions available to be completed and many upgrades to be installed. Jetpack Joyride is a game with the capacity to become a very strong addiction. What better way to satisfy your need to wipe out the entire human population with a strategic targeted disease than with Plague Inc? Plague Inc is a fun game that usually lasts between 20 minutes to an hour that has the main goal to eliminate all human life on Earth by means of a deadly disease. You have the ability to change the DNA sequencing of the disease in order to ensure its spread and destruction. The only thing spreading faster than this disease you're creating is Plague Inc's addicting nature itself, which is definitely worth a pickup from the App Store. PogCap has once again wowed the App Store market with their release of Plants vs. Zombies 2. One of the only apps in this list which I showed off the sequel instead of the original, Plants vs. Zombies 2 really packs an addictive punch. The game pits your plant army against hordes of incoming zombies. Over time, you're able to unlock many different types of plants to choose from in order to improve your game and defeat the zombies once and for all. Puzzle and Dragons is a fun and very addicting game that has you matching different orbs in order to create epic combos that your monsters and dragons can use to defeat the villains. The game is essentially Bejeweled meets RPG meets Pokemon and the overall gameplay is done very well. There are many different dungeons to defeat and monsters to collect in Puzzle and Dragons. All in all, it's definitely a very addictive game that has earned its spot on this list. The last game that we have is Temple Run. Who can forget one of the original Endless Runners on the App Store that sparked a new genre? An excellent running game, Temple Run got better and better both in updates and its sequel by adding multiple characters and unlockable abilities. Temple Run is definitely one of the classic addicting games in the App Store. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the top 20 most addicting iPhone games of all time. Be sure to let me know what your most addicting iPhone games are in the comment section below. And be sure to share this video with your friends so you can all get addicted together. Be sure to subscribe and watch App Spotlight every weekend for the best iPhone and iPad games every week. Once again, I'm Alex from AppFind and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!